check, check, check. One. I'm just playing with you guys. All right. So, um, and this guys, I just want to share this video with you. I can't share the whole thing because I just want to do like this fair use thing. And I want to make sure this guy gets credit for making this video. It's the funniest video I've seen in a little bit for programming. And it's so true. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and play just a, a few snippets of it. But the, the, the link, uh, the description, damn it <laughs> the link is in the description tab below make sure you guys check that out click on that um, watch this video it's, it's hilarious if you ever wondered what programming is like this video definitely describes it this is what we think it's like so then it goes into that real quick like i said i can't display the whole video because i don't want to um not you know i want to give credit where it's due basically <laughs> but then it like it, it fast forwards to this point right right about here God fucking. So yeah, basically that is what programming is like. We're going to spend a lot of time Google searching solutions to problems. In fact, uh, one, you know, a lot of times I don't even spend any amount of time trying to diagnose what the error message is. Sometimes I'm so lazy that I'll get the error message back and immediately Google search it without even trying to comprehend what the error message is. Uh, if I, if it's not like, it's, it's obviously if it's some error that I run into all the time, like, you know, some element doesn't exist or something, you know, it's a null check or something like that. But besides that, like if I get some sort of weird, crazy error message, like I don't even start with like trying to figure out where it came from, what line, things like that. I'll immediately Google search it just like that one dude did. All he saw was just like, it didn't work. And immediately he was looking for the solution and he wasn't trying to go about it the hard way that he probably would have learned more about his own code and about the project and technology and everything had he tried to find the bug um, instead of just immediately Google searching it. But like a lot of times time is money and we just have to move as quickly as we can. So that's what we do. Um, all right. So what else am I going to talk about? Uh, one of the things I wanted to reach out to you guys about is um, a lot of you guys are in the market looking for jobs and I actually have people that reach out to me. Um, offering jobs and also asking me if I know of other people that are looking for jobs. So I can tell you specifically what I'm looking for um, and what I might possibly be able to help you with is if you're in the DC area and you're looking for .NET jobs, like if you have any sort of C Sharp .NET skills uh, and you're in the DC area, definitely hit me up. I might have an opportunity for you. Um, even if you're not like, and you feel like you're working on it, like I'd like to get all my users to start giving me your, like your names and your email addresses and what skill sets you have or what you're looking for. Um, and if I find those results, um, then I will, you know, forward them to you. So make sure you guys, um, try to help me out. I'm going to see if I can actually do something with this. I'm not really sure if, if it's going to go anywhere or not, but it's something that I've been wanting to do for a while. So I really think that I can, I can help people find jobs. And I also think that I can help employers find the right talent. And it's something that I'm going to be focusing on trying to do, but I need your help. I need you guys who are in the market, who are trying to find jobs. Let me know. I really, I need pieces of detail. I, I need like your name, your contact information, your location. Cause obviously if you're not in, in like DC or in the United States and I can't get you for that job, but maybe there's other, you know, I do get, um, I get overseas opportunities, but not really for like the, the type of full-time salaried position that you would expect from you know within the united states like there's like russian startups and things like that that will reach out to me and be like hey chris you know we have this opportunity we want, we want to work with you typically those are like business ventures and not necessarily like getting a paycheck to be a developer for that company uh, but what i'm looking to do is i'm looking to possibly have a list of potential candidates for for uh, employers that reach out to me um, and then also uh, to also be able to help out those candidates and actually being able to find out, uh, find employers who are reaching out to me for, uh, for jobs and things like that. So once again, um, the, the best way to contact me is if you go to my channel and you look at the about, um, of the channel, there is a uh, corporate email address there, and I'm not going to just give it a, without you guys actually going through the proper motions of, of looking it up, uh, just to prevent some spam. But um, yeah, just, you can get my email address on this channel. I think that's going to be the best way to contact me. I'm probably going to end up building a, a website maybe for like a, you know, just a contact form or something like that, just to, to be able to make that a little bit easier, depending on the results. Let me see what you guys actually respond back to me with. And, um, at the very least, if you guys are going to be super lazy, just go ahead and, and put your information in the comments, but, uh, or at least some way for me to get in contact with you, or maybe I can private message you. I'm not sure how we want to do that, but, 
Um, anyway, I know this is a weird video, but if you guys would work with me on that, I appreciate it. And again, if you're if you have .NET skills and you're in the DC area, um, I may have a potential opportunity uh, that that you could be interested in, and um, and it's something I would certainly recommend. Uh, but yeah, I got it. Got to get that information first. Got to know who, who could possibly be interested. And again, even if you're not a .NET person, like I, I need, I need Python skills. I need Ruby, whatever rails, view, anything. Um, I, I, I just need that. I'm going to start comprising it and I'm going to try to get you guys these, these offers. Um, uh, it, it just really, I'm hoping that I can, I can, these people that, that reach out to me for inquiries, I'm, I'm going to try to direct them to you guys. That's going to be the kind of that's going to be the end goal here. That's that's what I'm hoping for. But we'll see how it works out. So this video was brought to you by Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp. They're a bootcamp that is based out of Utah, but they're also in Texas and Arizona now. And they have very good reviews, so make sure you guys check them out. The link is in the description tab below. They offer courses in web development, iOS development, um, UX or user experience design, quality assurance. Um, and just a, a few other ones. In fact, they're even getting into uh, Salesforce as well now. So they, they're continuing to adapt their courses based on what the market needs are. And major companies are hiring some of their alumni. So make sure you guys um, give them a look. They have great reviews. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.